All my Bowie albums start off with a phone call, and I might not have heard from him for a year. And suddenly there's a phone call, and by the end of that phone call, there's an album to be made. And uh, this was no different. This one time, he phoned up from Switzerland, where he lived, and uh, he had Brian Eno as a house guest. And Brian Eno was on another extension in the house. And they said, uh, Tony, we're, we've uh, decided to make this kind of strange kind of album. It doesn't have much form yet, uh, but what we see it as, side one, this is when albums had two sides, side one will be kind of a rock album with songs, kind of structured with a band. You know, we're going to use Dennis Davis again. We've already uh, used these musicians on other recordings. Dennis Davis on drums, George Murray on bass, Carlos Alomar on guitar. And side two is going to be like Brian's uh, ambient music like music for airports, but we're writing together. The difference is we're writing these songs together. And, uh, and I thought, oh, that, that's a great concept, side one, side two. No one's really done that, you know. I mean, maybe if they had, I hadn't heard of it. But, you know, Bowie doing this is going to be pretty amazing, you know, to make two albums at once. And we decided to record at the Chateau d'Héroville in Paris. And that's where the Honky Chateau is. You know, Elton John did Honky Chateau. I did several T-Rex albums there, and David already recorded, I think, pinups there. So I said, okay, that's cool. They said, now, what are you going to bring to the table? We'd like to, you to co-produce, you know. And I said, well, I said, uh, I've been, I've got, you know, a couple of nice digital devices in my studio, and uh, one I just got recently, it's called a harmonizer. And they said, well, what does it do? And I said, hard to explain, but I'd have to, I, if I'd said what it does, I would say that it fucks with the fabric of time. And they dropped their phones, and I heard, whoop, whoop, you know, like jumping around. They, they needed to hear something like that to, you know, this is missing piece, obviously. You know, they really needed some input like that for me. I, I must have chose the right words, obviously, because I can never live this quote down now. And uh, it got me the job, basically. You know, they, they heard what they wanted to from me. I had something to bring to the table. You know. So that's my whoop whoop story. <laughs>